There's several reasons why uh, boys should board at Monmouth School. Uh, I think it's the all-round uh, community feel, uh, the spirit, uh, the enjoyment side, as well as the sort of close monitoring of their academic uh, provision uh, and facilities in that area. Uh, and also the, the sort of the feel and the independence that boys can get from uh, looking after themselves to a certain degree. Uh, and the confidence the parents then get from knowing that it's actually looking after themselves within a controlled environment, uh, getting the support and care uh, when they really need it. One of the benefits of the boarding is it, it's sort of a, a stepping or a starting stone, as it were, where the boys can sort of start to look after themselves a little bit, get some independence, but it's within a nice sort of safe, cosy environment in that we can uh, look after them, check on them, give them the opportunities to learn and do things for themselves but always you know, having the big eye on them as it were in a friendly way, uh, making sure that we guide them and help them. Um, sometimes they don't know we're guiding and helping them, um, other times we have to be a little bit more involved. Uh, on top of that, it, it's the great sort of friendship and camaraderie they build within the house. I think 20 boys of a similar age means they're always active, they're always busy, uh, there's always somebody who wants to play and do things. Um, and as a result, you know, they tend to be ex extremely active from that point of view and have a lot of fun as well. Um, we have two resident people, myself and a resident tutor, who do predominantly most of the duties in the evening, uh, keeping an eye on them on those nights. We also have two other teachers who come in and do one night a week each. Uh, that's sort of the teaching staff side of it. We then have two fantastic matrons who are like mother hens really, and really look after the boys and sort out all of those problems. And really are sort of the mother figure that obviously boys of this age need at a certain time. Uh, and then right down to two, two cleaners who have a great laugh and a joke with the boys and play practical jokes at the end of the year and get revenge, I think, for all the mess they've created in the meantime. Uh, on top of that, we then have the, the tutor system in, in the school itself, who sort of look at the, uh, the academic side of it, as well as just generally keeping an eye on how they mix in the form and in their entire year group. Um, it, it's something that sort of is well structured but runs informally in that we just pass comments, we talk about boys, um, we just, if we notice something, we check if somebody else has seen it, just so that we can make sure, you know, we're not just looking after them academically, but the pastoral side, how they develop, you know, socially, which is obviously crucial at this age. What's that? Integration of new boys is, is a, a major issue because obviously we get a new intake every year and they are all new. Um, therefore, we work very hard to firstly integrate them into the house, so we give them sort of a mentor in the year above somebody who can show them where you know, all the basic things are, everything they might need, uh, sort of a first port of call to talk to. Um, and then we work hard on integration uh, within the school and within the form system itself. Uh, and finally, it's just simply, you know, with having so many members of staff in the house, we can keep a close eye on them uh, and can sort of make sure that they're not left on their own for too long and keeping them busy and giving them activities to do which then develops friendships and hopefully uh, helps them integrate that much quicker. Yeah, I, was, uh, I was quite apprehensive to begin with as to what I wanted to do and I didn't really know how to get, get along with people but soon I realised that everyone was really friendly and that uh, it's really easy just to settle in and get to know people. Everyone's really helpful, all the teachers are really nice and it's just really easy. In the house itself we run sort of a quite extensive extracurricular programme that runs uh, during the school week four nights a week. Um, so we have uh, quite a lot of interaction with the girls' school. Uh, tends to happen on the first night of the week, the Monday, where we go up there for activities and they do various, you know, sports or things like that, which they really enjoy. Then we also run uh, sports hall, sports field-based activities, uh, as well as a swimming pool-based activity, uh, where once a month, well, they go every week, but once a month they get to have a big inflatable out and jump and dive off it and cause a bit of mayhem, really, but have a lot of fun. Uh, and then on the weekends we run the bigger activity side of it where uh, on a Sunday afternoon there's an activity every week and these range from the really exciting paintballing, quad biking which are incredibly popular um, to you know, the more sort of realistic things that we do sort of just kayaking down the river Y and those opportunities so they do get a chance to do an incredible amount of things um, which they all tend to take up because other boys in the house are doing it therefore they all want to do it as well really. Uh, communication parents it is really a major part of the job now. The old days where you sort of dropped your son off in September and you saw him at Christmas if you were lucky uh, have gone. Uh, nowadays it's actively encouraged that the parents phone us, the staff, we phone them just to give them little updates. 
Uh, and also the communication with boys home, boys to their staff themselves is a major important thing. Uh, we feel that any small problems that do arise can be dealt with quickly and efficiently if the parents know the staff and the staff know the parents, rather than waiting for it to possibly snowball uh, and then have to deal with a bigger problem later on. Uh, the difference between the, the senior boarders and the junior boarding house uh, is obviously the age groups being the first thing. We have boys from the age of uh, 10 up to 13 in the junior house uh, and they are integrated into the main school uh, by being put into uh, form groups so that they get a chance to mix with uh, the day boys as well to build friendships there, to develop uh, relationships which will carry them through and then we actively encourage that. Um, to go through so boys can go home on weekends to visit their friends if they pay boys. The great advantage from the junior house for us is that they obviously have another person as a form tutor, keep an eye on them, uh, who can look after them, can you know, check for any problems that might be or just to give me some more positives to deal with. Lots of reasons why boys enjoy boarding. Uh, it's that sort of community feel when they are playing with the boys of their own age, uh, the independence they think they get in the controlled environment. Uh, and also the sort of enjoyment factor they get from being around a group of boys, therefore having the chance to do lots of things with boys of their own age group, uh, playing, learning and experiencing all the things that a boarding school like this can offer.